I wanted to take a moment and talk about this OSU identity disorder. So there's a very cool show coming out, Moon Knight, it's on Disney Plus, and it features someone who has this disorder, of course, with, you know, some Marvel comic embellishments. Um, but dissociative identity disorder, it, it is a real thing. Um, it's been studied for many, many years. It's, yes, fascinating. It's interesting. So how does something like this happen? Well, when we go through trauma, scary situations, consciousness can check out. We go to a place in our mind so that we're not aware of what's happening. So we go into autopilot. Well, that is a helpful uh, coping mechanism for that moment, but also in a way might prevent some healing from taking place or rather make it difficult for the healing of that emotion to take place. Now, if someone keeps going into autopilot, that autopilot develops into its own pilot, a separate consciousness. So what was subconscious, maybe just a subconscious emotion, subconscious part of our personality that was left there, as our consciousness checked out, that becomes more fully developed into its a separate conscious part. Um, that's how it develops. It, it's through through trauma, through how we cope from trauma. Um, and yes, there can be extreme memory gaps with it. So people who have this, they might find themselves suddenly in a room. They don't know the last few hours or the last few days in some scenarios, the last few years. Uh, what has been going on. Some personalities may want to be present and some personalities may not want to be present. Some personalities may wear glasses and other personalities may not need them. Some personalities may have allergies and others may not. very fascinating. There's this, these biological things that are happening that's so much more than just like a mood change, it's an allergy change, it's something that is measurable, it's an eyesight change. Um, and these are real examples. These are real, real scenarios. This isn't so for someone who has dissociative identity disorder, there's memory gaps as one personality is dominant. And then as another personality is dominant, it's like the memories are segregate, segregated. Um, so it is a goal of therapists to either integrate these parts or to get some sort of collaboration so that there's access to this information, there's access to these memories, the person is at least aware of what is happening, so there, it, things are much more functional. For most of us who don't have dissociative identity disorder, we just have our moods, and our moods are uh, carry with us certain memories. If we got into the same argument with someone multiple times, when we're in that mood, we can access all our memories of all the times we got in that argument. It might be really hard to access another memory. So this is how it is for most of us, but for someone with identity dissociative disorder, it's much, much more severe. They just, they don't know what has been happening while the other part goes forward. So with the rest of us, our consciousness isn't checking out. Our moods are coming up, kind of being present, and then 
another node will come forward and be present, but we retain all of this information. Um, so that is, in a nutshell, uh, a description of what dissociative identity disorder is. I may go into more detail on this in the future, go through the diagnostic criteria and explain um, yeah, like, just kind of explain the diagnosis aspect of it. Interestingly enough, the diagnosis criteria is very straightforward. It's not like pages and pages, where if you compare it to like ADHD, a lot more checks to mark off something like ADHD. But it's it's legit. It's been around. It will be around. Um, in a nutshell, that is what dissociative identity identity disorder is. All right. Thank you for your time. Um, click like if you like this. Or, or don't click like if you don't like it. I don't know. You do you. Have an awesome day. And I, I guess I won't see you. But I feel like I should say I'll see you. But I won't see you. So you'll maybe see me. You'll see me later. All right. Take care. <laughs>